I think what we learned over the last year and what the doc shows quite a bit is that our relationship as brothers, as family, comes first. And then the band, that, that comes second. The Jonas Brothers are opening up like never before. It wasn't about the money. It wasn't about the fame. It was, hey, brothers, you want to do something awesome again together? The band's new Amazon Prime documentary just dropped and gives fans an inside look at the lives of Kevin, Joe, and Nick, who went through a contentious split in 2013 before reuniting earlier this year. Now, we're breaking down the seven biggest bombshells from the doc, starting with this. Nick says he felt love for the first time with his ex, Miley Cyrus. The two met after the boys were offered a guest spot on a 2007 episode of Hannah Montana. When he met Miley, I think that kid's head exploded. I started writing about love, and I actually knew what it felt like, you know. For the first time, I was asking them the kinds of questions that only a younger brother can ask their older brothers. Bombshell number two, Joe was initially the only brother offered a role in the 2008 Disney flick Camp Rock. Their parents considered the offer, but ultimately decided not to split the guys up. My dad called the president of Disney Channel and said, what if instead of just Joe, it was a band? Now, remember those purity rings? Yeah, they talked about that too. All the kids that I grew up were doing it. So I was like, oh, this is cool. Probably by like, I don't know, 15, I was like, what? <laughs> what is this? The property has six bedroom and it's located in a gated community. Why do three virgins need six bedrooms is one of them. And that was not who we were. Like, it was just something that we did when we were young kids. But we wore the rings through the first bit of the band starting to explode. At that point, it was already too late because it was in the media. On to number four. They admit their biggest regret as a band was signing on for their Disney Channel show, Jonas. We shouldn't have done that. It really stunted our growth, you know? I feel like it was just a bad move. Yeah. Like, it was just not the time and... And it, it, literally, we, we couldn't evolve because of it. The show was not good. It didn't feel like it was us anymore. I think that affected the perception of the band that we were Joe. Next up, Joe got emotional, revealing he was heartbroken when Nick decided to break up the band. I felt betrayed. I felt lied to. I felt angry, numb. That was, that was heartbreaking. What hurt the most is that it came from Nick. Because he is my best friend. And I thought that me, Kevin, and Nick were going to do this forever. And it was us against the world, you know? For a while, it was dark. And guys, he wasn't kidding. There was some seriously bad blood between all the brothers following the split, especially after Joe and Nick went on to perform without Kevin at several Jingle Ball concerts in 2015. The entire set was them singing all the Jonas Brothers songs together. All the big hits, all the big moments, and I'm just not there. I think that might have been the hardest moment in my entire life. Our final reveal, all three of the guys say that their time apart was necessary for a successful return. The time apart was necessary. It led me to find something even greater than I could ever imagine. Love. The impact of falling in love has made me want to be a better man, a better person, and ultimately made me a better brother. I focused on my family, on being the best husband and father that I could be. E.T. caught up with Joe, Nick, and Kevin on Monday at the premiere for the documentary, and they opened up about their decision to get so candid. I think for us it was, it was important to step into this new chapter with uh, a lot of clarity about how we were going to approach it, and that was being as honest as possible with each other and with our fans and maybe people that were not fans as well, uh, which I think is very important, and this documentary hopefully will uh, bring some families back together that perhaps have had some tough times. It took time, but after you know the initial shock of it all, we led to a better relationship, and then this documentary really shows the real comeback together moment. 
I am living for the Jonas Brothers 2.0. And of course, ET will be here to keep you in the know on all things Nick, Kevin, and Joe. So be sure to keep it locked right here. Until next time, I'm Hallie Stevens. Bye for now.